Oh boy, they don't look very appetizing, but these are a little mutant egg bites. <laughs> it's a uh, shredded cheese, uh, black pepper, salt, and some red pepper flakes. And uh, yeah, I hope they taste better than they look. Mm. Good morning, guys. Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steven. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. I'm in a great mood, and I don't know why. Well, I do know why. I do know why. I had almost eight hours of almost un uninterrupted sleep. Buddy woke me up a couple of times, like 2 a.m., 4 a.m., 7 a.m., but uh, it was almost uninterrupted. Um, I was able to get a nice coffee this morning. Thank you, Dan. Yum. Uh, the drive through entrance was blocked by a really bad accident. So almost no one was going through the drive through but I found a little go around and I was able to get my iced coffee in like 30 seconds. I mean, it was amazing. Um, Eleanor, which uh, she is a very fickle cat. Uh, she's loving, but she doesn't love to be embraced. I can pick her up for a little while, once in a while. But this morning she let me actually literally put my arm around her as we both cuddled in bed. That was for like seven minutes. <laughs> But she let me do it for seven minutes, and it was just, oh my God, it was so good. It was so good. Um, if, I, if I'm if i wheezing a little bit this morning, it says I forgot my um, allergy medication. Two days in a row. Oh, I'm unbuttoned. Two days in a row I forgot my allergy meds, which is very unlike me. But uh, if you didn't know, I'm allergic to cats. Yeah, I know. Um, so today, I'm going to be working a flight to L.A., it's like 44 minutes usually around there. Sometimes we don't even have time to do service. It's very windy in Las Vegas, so I have a feeling we're not doing service today. Then we have a two and a half hour long sit in LA. Um, I did not eat breakfast, but I made some egg bites. Um, and so maybe I'll eat those for breakfast in LA. Then, uh, so a two and a half hour long sit. Then we work a flight to Chicago. I have two layovers in Chicago in a row. They're 12, 11 and 12 hours respectively. So not fantastic layovers. I've never had a really good long layover in Chicago, but whatever. Um, and then I'm back home. So it's a short three day trip. I'm very excited about it. And uh, so let's go to work. All right, come, with, blah, blah, blah. come along with me. That's what I meant to say. Well, um, yeah, so my check-in was at 9.45. Uh, it's now 9.46. I'm at the gate now, and I just got here. The flight's canceled. Um, so crew scheduling has not contacted me yet. I'm sure they will, because I think it was... Was it just canceled? Was it just canceled? Yeah, it was just canceled. So crew scheduling will call me at some point. But I don't know what that means, because I was supposed to work a, a Chicago flight after this. So I don't know what's going to happen. So uh, I'll keep you updated. This is very unusual. We don't cancel flights that easily. But uh, apparently it's weather. Um, L.A. and Oakland were just both canceled a moment ago. So <sighs> fun, fun, fun. All right, so it gets better and better and better. I, a crew scheduling called. I am... Um, double deadheading to Chicago. So I'm flying to Houston and it gets worse. I'm deadheading to Houston. Now I hate deadheading only because I'm too big to sit in these seats and I'd rather just get up and be able to walk around, blah, blah, blah. But I'm deadheading. I won't complain. I already did. Too late. I'm deadheading to Houston and then I have a three and a half hour sit in Houston in order to deadhead to Chicago. So this whole day is gonna be just me sitting on my butt. Um, I don't have anything downloaded to my phone. I have no headphones. So I'm going to um, read my fam. I was gonna read my fam anyway, right? So I'll just read my fam and um, prepare for a current. Making the most. Well, that wasn't bad. I was sitting in 
4F, which is by the window, and then 4D, one of our pilots was there, and he's super cool, great guy. I really hope I fly with him at some point. Uh, so, yeah, there's one dead head down. I have about uh, almost three hours here, I think, in Houston. The only silver lining is that Houston has a lot of food options where LA doesn't. So, it could be worse. It could be worse. I'm going to get something to eat and then find a place to settle down and relax. I'll see you uh, on the way to Chicago. Well, I found a comfortable seat. I got some Panda and I got a spot next to a charging station. How lucky am I? Hey guys. All right, so I survived that sit three and a half hours. Uh, and I don't have the time yet for this uh, flight to Chicago, but it's gonna be two and a half hours at least. Um, fun, we have the, the Chaser is on her first trip. She just graduated on December 3rd or something. So kind of exciting to be flying with her. She's, she's uh, excited. <sighs> That's it. All right, so I will see you in, where am I going, Chicago? All right, so that deadhead was not super painful. I just read and played games the entire time. Uh, I think I know where to get the shuttle to the hotel, but I'm not 100% sure. I see two pilots way up ahead, so I'm trying to hustle after them because uh, the directions on the flight crew view were go down the escalator, walk all the way to the end of the hotel, take another escalator. Things should start looking familiar by then. I'm like, oh, I don't know where I'm going. So I hope these pilots are going where I'm going. We'll find out. Hey guys, hi. So I'm a little frustrated and out of breath. I, uh, Hustled here as fast as I could uh, to uh, get to the shuttle, but I just missed it by like 30 seconds. I saw it pull away. Um, oh my gosh. The directions on the Flight Crew View app are very good. They're on point. I lost the pilots. I didn't know where they went, but uh, I followed the directions on the app and I got here safely, just not in time. Uh, so I have to wait another half hour. I called the hotel just in case to see if they were running late or something, but they pick up every 45 and 15 uh, on the hour. So um, I just have to wait here for another half hour. Um, my my uh, layover here is about nine hours. Yay, right? Um, oh, there's a little sparrow. Do you see the little sparrow right there? Do you see him? There's two, and guess what I have in my lunch bag? Oh, there's three. Guess what, four. Guess what I have in my lunch bag? Oatmeal, I wonder if they eat oatmeal. <sighs> Hi guys, all right, so I'm in my room, finally. So I missed that shuttle, I had to wait a half hour, it took a half hour. Um, there was a mad dash for the shuttle because there was a whole bunch of passengers or hotel guests that were um, trying to get the same shuttle. I guess they stop off at two different hotels for that one shuttle and it was a bunch of people. So um, I was flashing my little tip uh, so that he made sure to get my bag on the, on the shuttle. Um, yeah, so it is 1036. My sh uh, show time at the airport is seven, I'm sorry, 810. I'm taking don't laugh at me. I'm taking a seven o'clock shuttle uh, because I don't know, really remember how long the walk is to uh, KCM. I don't want to get randomed in KCM and it's quite a walk to get to our gate. So I really don't want to, you know, stress, struggle. I don't want to have to run. And if there's a chance to get a coffee or something on the way, all the better. So I'm taking the seven o'clock shuttle rather than the 730. Uh, that leaves me Enough time to sleep, a good solid sleep. Um, I'm probably just gonna eat some carrots and hummus for dinner because I've already taken my pants off. I am wearing undies, just so you know. Um, I've already taken my pants off. I don't wanna get my clothes back on just to go heat up food in the hallway, you know? Um, I think that's it, I think that's it. Not much of a vlog, but welcome to the life of a flight attendant, right? This is what it's like. All right, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night and fly safe.